This video is brought to you by Dublo, the world leader in field survey technology solutions. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to create a basic survey using Survey2Go. Let's bring up our Survey2Go Studio. To learn how to download and install Survey2Go Studio, please visit our website at www.dublo.net. For this demonstration, I will be using a fixture smart research agency called Flash Research and will create a, a customer satisfaction survey for one of our customers called Northwind Fashion. I will now log in to Survey2Go Studio. On the left side of Survey2Go Studio, I can see the, my Flash Research customers, organization users, surveyors, and additional data such as billing, client installation, and help. Let's create a new survey. We'll click on the New button and select Survey. In Survey2Go, every survey has to be a part of a customer and a project. For this demonstration, I will create a new customer called Northwind Fashion. I will now select Northwind Fashion and create a project for this customer. The project name will be Customer Satisfaction. And the description will be Customer Satisfaction Project. I am now ready to create my survey. I will need to enter a name for this survey and the name will be the O2 Fashion Event Survey. Click on Next and Finish. And we can now see the O2 Fashion Event Survey. Please note that the left pane of the survey to go Studio has been hidden to allow for more screen size. However, you can always click on the button on the left side to bring back my organization tree. Let's click on it. You can clearly see that Survey2Go has added a Northwind Fashion customer and a customer satisfaction project in my O2 Fashion Event Survey. Let's hide my organization tree and add a question to my survey. We'll start off by adding a new multi-choice question rating the overall satisfaction from this survey. Please rate your overall satisfaction from this fashion event. Let's now add some answers. The first answer will be fantastic. Good, so so, bad, and really bad. Let's add a new numeric question to ask how many times this customer has been to this event. We will restrict this answer to have a lower limit of zero and an upper limit of three times as this O2 fashion event has only been run for three times. Finally, let's add a new textual question and ask for the customer's name.
Let's restrict this answer to maximum of 50 characters and display it as a single line answer. Let's save this survey and we are now ready to run this survey as a simulation. In order to do that we can use the run in emulator button located on the right. Running in emulation mode does not require you to actually have a PDA. The emulator runs directly on your desktop and simulates exactly how the PDA would look like showing this survey. Please rate your overall satisfaction from this fashion event. Let's say it was fantastic. How many times have you been to the O2 fashion event? Remember we restricted this question to have a lower limit of zero and an upper limit of three times. Let's select five to see if this limitation actually works. Immediately we get an error message saying that the value must be between zero and three. Let's clear it and save one. Finally, would you mind sharing your name with me? My name is John Smith. Notice that as I type, survey to go keeps track of the amount of letters that are left in this question. I will click the finish button and the survey is now complete. We can close the emulator and we are ready to actually go ahead and deploy the survey into the field. In order to, depl to deploy a survey to go survey, the survey mode must be in either test or production. To learn more about the differences between test and production modes, please go to our website or go to our help manuals located on the organization tree under the help node. We will now switch the survey into production mode and click on OK. Finally, we need to assign this survey to a specific surveyor. By default, the, the user who created this survey is automatically assigned to this project and you can see my user mark under the surveyors node. However, survey to go allows you to define multiple surveyors for the same project, allowing for multiple surveyors to be out in the field and collect interviews for the same project. To add more surveyors to your project, right click on the surveyors node, click the add surveyor button and decide to create a new surveyor group or user. For this demonstration, I'm going to use the default user called Mark. Before switching to my PDA and showing you how to collect data on the PDA, note that if you need to install survey to go on either your PDA or your laptop or netbook, you can use the client installation node, open it up, select the relevant device that you're installing on, and click the relevant button to install survey to go on your device. My device has survey to go already installed on it, so I'm going to switch to my PDA. I will now open up survey to go on my PDA by clicking the start programs and select survey to go from my available program list. I will enter my login information and click on login. I will then select the O2 fashion event survey from my survey list in order to start a new interview. Click the Run button and now I'll need to rate your overall satisfaction from this fashion event. I'll click Good, select one time that I have been to the O2 fashion event 
and finally enter my name. And click the submit button. My interview is now complete and will be sent to the server. In order to view our collected interviews, I will click on the Operations no Console node located under the Customer Satisfaction Project of the Northwind Fashion Customer. Double click on that. And now I can see my two interviews. Note that one interview was conducted using the emulator while the other was conducted using the PDA. In order to filter out only those conducted by the real PDAs, I will filter out the production mode interviews only and click on the Get. To view my interview, I'll double click on this row. I can now see the different answers to my different questions. As this interview is in read-only mode, I can only view the questions. However, I can always change my mode to be read-write and modify my answers. If any attachments such as pictures, sound recordings, video recordings, or as, or as files were added as attachments to this interview, I will be able to view these attachments on this tab. In addition, GPS location information is also captured and displayed on the Map tab for every interview. Finally, I will export my collected data. To do that, I will double click the Collected Data node select my survey and click the export button. This brings up the export wizard. Click on next then select to which format you would like to export either Access, Excel, Word, SPSS, the default provider or XML. I will select Excel. You can change the way the columns are exported, change the order of the column or choose from various op options. I will just simply go with the defaults. Finally I need to select a file name. And click the finish. When export is complete we can open the exported file. Click on yes. In Excel, every row represents a collected interview, while every column represents a different data piece that was collected. Along with our answers, you can also see valuable information such as duration, latitude, longitude, and additional information. At the end, we can see Q underscore 1, Q underscore 2, and Q underscore 3 these three columns represent the three questions that we have in our survey. In this video I have shown you how to create a basic survey using Survey2Go. Thank you for joining. This video was provided by Dublo, the world leader in field surveys technology solutions.